What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Knowledge. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boom! What's up? Episode 490. Today, we're going to go over the GPP that I've been programming at the beginning of the workout, but I really like for my high school athletes. General physical preparedness, building up connective tissue strength, building up work capacity, building up, up, building up just overall strength so you can be gangster at your sport. Okay? Yes. Give me a, give me a head shake, Kyle. Yes, yes, okay, good. All right, so very basic. I always thought, and this I learned from being at Westside Barbo and from Louie and those guys, like when they was explaining walking with the sled, doing all these reps with the dumbbells, doing all these hypers, it was all about creating a bigger work capacity so you can be more durable, stronger, and be able to just withstand obviously more load, more play, whatever it is. And so I thought to myself, when I have the athletes come in, or obviously our guys, whatever it is, there has to be a level of GPP that we can attain and push towards every day. So, I like to start off the guys, especially my baseball kids or football, they always start with some type of sled work. It's all lower body stuff mostly, except for the farmer's carry. So, we'll go backwards. I like backwards because of the VMO, the quad, but it also hits glutes too. We'll go backwards three minutes. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to go some type of weight that's gonna challenge you, but it's not a max effort thing. This is part of your warm up. We're just trying to get a lot of blood flow, right? So, we'll go backwards first. Next, we'll go to a lunge. So once again, we're warming up through action. It's gonna help create more mobility. It's gonna help turn on your glutes, hammies, VMOs, everything, work on balance coordination. Three minutes. Then we'll slip to an upper body thing. We'll grab, you know, 40 pound kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever it is. Farmer's carry. Chest nice and high. Walk with good posture. Shoulders back. This works on obviously grip, upper back, forearms. Ah, getting everything nice and warmed up in case we're cleaning, in case we're deadlifting, whatever it is. Put these back. And then lastly, well, two things actually. We added in three minutes of my knowledge bomb I did a few, a few ago of just some type of box squat, which is just medium foot position, working on staying stable, only letting your, your hips rest for one second, but arch stays good, everything stays in good position. Wait three minutes here. And then what I really like, 50 to 100 reps, of single leg hamstring curls, three to five pounds, nothing crazy, but in isolation to where we'll just perch like this and hit this hamstring curl like pumping your bicep. Now, if you suck your knee in, it's gonna take the pressure off your hamstring. What I want you to be doing is almost like a concentration curl for your hamstring. It kind of feels like you're going like this, right? Same joint. So if I go backwards sled walks, warm up everything, lunge hits everything, upper back, grip, and then hamstrings, that really gets you pretty locked and loaded to pretty much do whatever movement we're getting ready for, in my opinion. So that is Knowledge Bomb episode 490, 10 away from 500, GPP for the athletes, 